you know, I sort of understand how Nigeria's political leaders develop health issues immediately they are arrested for fraud. Nigeria, a health emergency. The political elites seem fine when they're home. They eat well, use their drugs, and fly out for medical checks. But most of them are not in perfect health. Everyone just they manage. We have absorbed Western lifestyles, from driving everywhere to eating processed food and breathing in polluted air. So we can't expect to live long lives without frequent medical checks to catch anything early and prevent deterioration of our health. I promised to share my experience at the Lagos State Teaching Hospital last, last year. I was pleasantly surprised. Why? Well, my last time there was for just a skin rash, and it wasn't so, such a pleasant experience. I needed to see a dermatologist. The only place to find one I could afford as a student at the time was in the general hospital. My first morning there, I was already too late by 10 a.m. They picked the number of people they could attend to that day. I just paid for my card and came very early the next day. We were very many. It took four hours for me to be directed to the dermatology department. I got an appointment for one month later. I was really worried by this time. My brother, who is a pharmacist, prescribed the cream to use to ease the itchy screen, skin. One month later, after opening prayers and a pep talk by a nurse on duty, I finally saw a dermatologist who said the cream my brother had prescribed was what she would also have prescribed if I had seen her a month before. End of. That experience is why I never take myself to the general hospital again. What a waste of time. But with constant palpitations last year, I was referred to last week, the last week um, diagnostic center and the experience this time was different. The test did cost some money that the average Akarasela may not afford, but it cost way less than it would have in the private hospital that referred me there. This is the crux of my discourse. The average Nigerian cannot afford health care with the level of poverty that pervades the land. I was impressed with the quality of personnel and equipment at the Lasso Diagnostic Center, but primary health care has to be available in every nook and cranny of Nigeria. That's the essence of government anyways, not for officials to steal so their own children have a better start in life. Healthcare ought to be preventive as well as curative, but because of the attendant costs, we're forced to wait till something goes wrong before we seek medical advice. What to eat according to each person's body type, age, exercise, rest, and so on, to prevent illness and enjoy a healthy life seems to be a luxury only the middle class and elites can afford. By the time they get into office anyways in their old age, these are our politicians who are already sick by that time. Meanwhile, if we all do the right thing, from citizens paying their taxes to public servants using government money to build infrastructure that is world class, we all will be able to access qualitative health care without anyone needing to steal. And I don't mean white elephant project to build a hospital that even you cannot use. Every Nigerian needs health insurance. There's a national health insurance scheme. Not everyone is on it. And it doesn't cover serious health issues. Chicken and egg situation, actually. Which comes first? If every Nigerian is on the scheme, I'm sure we'll be able to cover more serious health issues. And if governments are more honest, We'll use our scarce resources to provide better for the scheme. We also won't need to crowdfund medical bills or look to politicians to help save people's lives in the cases of serious health issues. Will all Nigerians, including you and I, commit to doing the right thing? Oh. I'm doing the right thing already <laughs> by being a Nigerian and being law abiding. The thing is, do I have access to good health care? You may. What, you, you probably do. What you else? Do. What is the right thing <laughs> that do I because, should do? Because um, um, I know that you probably know somebody that knows somebody. Uh -huh. <laughs> who is Look at that. That's the Nigerian and, uh, yeah, thing. So, and so Look at that's that. why you say, ah, um, or, um, <laughs> Abru my Abru brother Abru. is in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Abru Mini. Abru Mini. 
uh, edge or the bill is too much. Uh, and then they'll say, oh, look, healthcare world over is expensive. And that's why they are health insurance, you know, in the case of, because it's not something you're normally prepared for. Yeah. So sometimes it, it comes um, unannounced. And then um, our politicians, I really don't know what, why. You know, they always fall sick. And anyway, like you said, they always, all have <laughs> this underlying aim. I was wondering why you dropped your voice. <laughs> like, so they they, they do have underlying aim because they don't sleep. They have underlying condition. Doing yes. meetings <laughs> all like, the night. And, and then they are hustling to make this money and they eventually make the money. They find out that they've lost their heads. And so it's this battle. True. And and then um, probably if Biden were, were in Nigeria, it won't be this sound the way he is I because agree. of his age. I know? agree. So uh, that's why they also need to sit down and think it through. Because in some emergency situations, before the flight takes you from here uh, across so the Germany. Mediterranean, Okbari you know, <laughs> in, in the news today, you have uh, there's something from Bill Gates, and was talking about healthcare. It referenced a particular uh, um, statistics, which is important for us as Nigeria to, Nigeria to pay attention to. He said, look, the entire death from COVID-19 in Africa is less than the people who die from lack of access to primary, functional primary health care in Nigeria. God bless you, sir. So if 10 people died of COVID in the entire Africa, there are probably about 15 that died from the non-functional state of the primary health care centers in Nigeria. It's something to pay attention to. At that level, that's why you see people with malaria coming to Luth or, or UCH. Because the level where the problem is supposed to have been taken care of before it escalates is not, not working. Yes. Cool it exists but doesn't work. No, it, it, only only a few cases, governors are beginning to show interest in primary build, health care know, centers. Federal government builds a lot of primary health care centers. centers. Primary health care no, is no, local no. government. You, you, you no, know, it, government it makes me remember... Federal government builds some, but no facilities. It makes me remember the former Minister of Health, Professor Ole Koye, the Durant late Professor Ole Koye Kuti. He did a lot of work at the local level. Whatever happens to all the foundation he laid at that time. Continuity. We, we need continuity. I think yeah. you see um, healthcare is interesting, uh, your uh, advocacy today. As a people, we need to identify where our priorities are. You know, what are the things you want your citizens to have as important? What are those things that are important? True. Health, education, shelter, and all of this. If you prioritize them, then you can set out a roadmap towards achieving this. Now, what we have are people whose objectives and priorities are different from mm. yours. They have invested so much getting there. Mm -hmm. They need to recoup back to their paymasters and all mm. of that. And all of these infrastructures with the little resources we have. Because now they are not opening other opportunities. Exactly. We're still relying on that single source. Yeah. Yeah. And so the scarce resources, they now have to decide. Do I develop education? Do I do this? Or oh, do I, I recoup? recoup to get a second term. If he doesn't recoup, so, his paymaster will not give him a second term. So these are the challenges a typical politician in Nigeria would face. We'll consider, yeah. So we as a people, again, it comes back to us. Yeah. What are we going to do about this? Because again, we are talking about effect. And, and course. Going back to yes. course. Yes. You know? So for me, I think um, back to part of my advocacy, humanizing governance. I think our, and back to what we discussed last week, empathy, yeah, leaders right. with empathy. Yeah. If it's happened, I mean, look at Biden. He lost his son. He could not afford to, to, the money to care for, 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 for his ailments, cancer at that time. He was already a vice president, was a senator for Treasure. so long. We've had a Which lot of politicians die in the last one year. Has because they're changed, not going out. Has that changed their priority? Is health now a priority? Because no, they see themselves know. dying. We no, wouldn't it, is, know. it is a priority now. After we, all, they are going to take two, two shots to <laughs> Dubai <laughs> and America. It's a priority now. Um, it does become now, a priority. Now, we, we should just <laughs> address <laughs> the National yeah. Assembly and all our states' uh, House of Assemblies. Please, it's not funny out there, right? It's not funny out there. We want you to take health as a critical area in Nigeria. A lot of people are dying. 
a lot of people are suffering. Please, we beg you. Okay. We often don't do all the discussions alone here. We also love to hear your viewpoint on these issues. Responding to advocacy on DNA and paternity testing, Uti the Great on Instagram says, but while the court holds sway in theory, no one can truly feel the pain and remorse of a man who finds out he's not the father of his kids, especially when it's all of them. Whatever action such a man takes, I understand, even when he's not interested in continuing with the responsibility of taking care of them. Please follow us on all our social media platforms. On Facebook, we're Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram, at Plus TV Africa. Please do hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, please go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate NG. After the break, Liberus is asking us to be less religious and more godly. I be no be so you talk am. <laughs>